Cruiser, mate. Hi, I'm Mac Preston. And this is a Land Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, I haven't had a lot of time to finish her off, but it's running, driving, painted, suspension, engine, everything's sort of wild on it. We've got a heap more to do, so we'll walk around what's done, <laughs> and then we'll talk about what i got to do. One of the most popular comments is, for us just a quick little walk around, of the cruiser, we've been holding off because it's not technically not finished, but I mean, why not? Let's let's just do a little little walk around. Well, that's that's why we haven't. Well, that's why I haven't been wheeling it because uh, I've still got to build the diffs. So I've got previous owner exploded the rear diff, so it doesn't have a rear locker. The front one broke as well. Um, so I've got Harrops going in, but I'm also doing reduction gears. Anyway, we'll get into that. That's why I haven't been wheeling it yet, but I'm definitely going to if all that's going out. But it's more crawler. It is more crawler, mate. I am at the moment. I, I straight up admit <laughs> it's been more crawler. I guess we'll start with the most obvious. <laughs> the reason there's so much clearance under here. <laughs> so, under here, we have a tail shaft. <laughs> That's factory. <laughs> we have Superior Engineering's pre-rego five-inch lift, so it's a coil conversion in the rear. Now this is where people are getting uh, getting confused. This is why this actually is legal. Yes. So this is completely legal. <laughs> the suspension and wheel size is fully legal because it was done before the car was ever registered. It was done pre-registration. Before the car was brand new, never registered on the road, it went to Superior Engineering. Uh, it was actually, I think Blue Flame did it. And they fit the kit, uh, they put the 37s on it and they do all the swerve tests and engineer it before- Registration. You, before the car ever sees the road for the first time in Australia. So, Which makes it legal in every state. Every single state. So it's called second stage manufacturing. So it's like buying it from the dealership. Like what they've done is a long arm coil conversion. Uh, there are other coil conversions that do a short arm. They utilize the factory leaf. Uh, this is a long arm. It's a four link, not a five link. So it's just a flex demon in the rear. Like and you don't have that, that diff sway left to right. And it works really nice. It's got a completely new diff housing in the rear, which widens the wheel track. To where it should be, so it's another 100 mil wider overall. In the front, it has hyperflex, hyperflex radius arm, sway bar extensions. I believe they're a 10 inch shock in the front. They're 2.5s. You can't actually go bigger than that without doing some shock modifications, some shock mount modifications. But um, obviously, superior, superior shock, superior coils, everything superior, and fully engineered. So that is the suspension and the pre rego Also included in that is. Rig being able to run these big bad boys. 37s, which is a pretty big deal. Like They're a big tire. We, <laughs> we used to think 33s were big, <laughs> and now it's like, now we think 37s are small. Like, I want 40s now. Spear <laughs> <laughs> are actually doing that too. They're doing portals and 40s. So big this won't actually look big soon. <laughs> no, it's probably a baby, obviously. <laughs> the best. KMC wheels. They just go without saying, they're just a bloody sexy wheel, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I can't, you can't beat them. KMC's, phew, actually, for that point, wheel pros, pretty much anything they sell is like, sexual. Trail grapplers. Oh, wrapped in Nitto trail grapplers, 37 by 12 and a half. I'm, not, I'm trying to get a set of 40s. With any luck, I can get some Nittos out of the States, because I don't know if Nitto sells 40s here anymore. But I'm looking into that. Oh, yeah, them rims. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> no, these shorts aren't mandatory length regulations. <laughs> oh, good. Exhaust. Exhaust. Four inch twin exhaust uh, done by the legends at Fat Pipes at Kalinga. Legends, Les and, the, and Mitch, the boys. Naughty. <laughs> yeah, it's really get me barred up, you know? <laughs> I've always used the boys down at Fat Bars. Um, Tom and Paul are absolute legends. And I said to them, need some sliders for the cruisers, mate. And he's like, yeah, we got them. They're flat. I said, that's no. the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's like, nah, nah. You, you guys are, nah. These are just lame. You don't want angled crap. And I went, Paul, we want angled crap. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then, yeah, we work together. We, we come up with a game plan and 
They went to a thicker pipe too, which is sick because it's, I don't know, Cruisers just suit everything bigger, like. Yeah. Which brings me to my next point, the snorkel. Five inch snorkel. Five inch snorkel and it just looks <laughs> like it's meant to be there. <laughs> <laughs> You're very passionate oh, about. Oh man, I love this snorkel. Like it's uh, it's the nicest one I've ever had, and uh, it helps that it's gloss black too. Like it's just, uh, it's just girthy and just it's it's just good, you know. I, I bang this sticker there, and I actually really like it. So. All right. Well, I guess the paint was the next sort of. A lot of work went into the paint. Um, these boys here, the speed shop, Sunshine Coast. So, Kay, Nathan and Connor are actually good mates of mine and they've started up a little panel beating and restoration business. Uh, they know what they're doing though, like, oh. we have a whole episode on it. Whole episode, oh, you can go back and watch it, like Connor's painted VW Combis his whole life, so he, he's a gun painter. So a more modern version of this. <laughs> so, <yeah>. <laughs> 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 so we cut the tie down rails off, you don't need them, we hook on that. Oh, what about your hay when you go hauling? Oh, hey? yeah, we need to go hay hauling. <laughs> uh, we smoothed out all the spot welds, same in the back of the cab, cut the headboard off, uh, welded all that up. We welded up the two factory mirror holes here, and I've gone back to the 76 mirrors, which to me, I love. I, I think they have great vision. <laughs> the the uh, fuel efficiency is better, I reckon, because of that, and the tray being in line. Exactly right. It actually, it's aerodynamics. Fuel efficient. Well, it's, it's trying to make a brick aerodynamics. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's going to ask about these. And the tub. Tub's from South Africa. Um, Dean from Bush Company imported it for me. He's a, he's a boss. These are actually a factory flare. And they're 60 mil. So still a little bit wider than the back because obviously the guard flares out as well. Farm parts. Bang some uh, steady spotties on while we're there. So just to... Yeah, feel what gap was left, and and you've done the grill and the inner cooler. Is it? Yes, there's a, actually a front mount inner cooler back here, which we'll talk about in a sec. So that's all black now. That was our uh, fat coatings, the fat bars, boys. Got their own powder coating in there called fat coatings, and they they powder coated that for me. Macca number plates. Yeah. No, I thought it was M4C4. Oh, jeez, aerial. That's that must be the S, like the top model for only the, for the AM radio. Ah, <laughs> oh, you want to see me dunk? Always. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo! You have to lift that yourself. Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh yeah! So a big block swap that land. We're at the wrong car. Oh, mate. It's over. <laughs> In here we have lots of things. A lot of this was done by. Actually, a young fellow out at Yandina, Fast Lane Fabrications. It was done before I, I had the car. He's done the, so the well, it's a throttle body mod um, to get rid of the top man in the cooler because it would normally fit in the sides. I've got the four inch intake pipe, which runs down to the turbo, I believe. Custom airbox that he's made. I'm actually changing the airbox because the way it's designed has two pod filters in it and a chamber, and it's actually not quite getting enough air. I'm gonna change that to just a straight four inch type style. It's got a catch can, it's got a pre-filter, water separator, and uh, dip breathers, but anyway, besides that, we'll talk, it's, got a, it's got a tune in it, currently making, oh, and from air in the cooler. Currently making 340 horsepower at the wheels on the 37s. 37s. On Important to. Yes. People on. don't understand. Nah, changing tyre sizes will change So power. Explore Life Matty gets 400 or near. Yes. On but tires. it's on 35s. Yes. And so this, this technically the same power. Will be close. It'll be close. He probably still has a bit more, but he's also weighs about five tonnes. <laughs> <laughs> Once I do the air box, it's, uh, it's going down to Shane at Project, a uh, good mate of mine. He's going to do his Pro 6 multi-map tune on it and probably going to push it up a few more notches. <laughs> Let's try and see what breaks next. Or... Yeah, pretty much. Just keep going until more stuff breaks. Like... No, I'm talking about the gearbox. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll just... <laughs> we've had breakages. <laughs> the gearbox. Oh, okay. 
I don't even know if I've told you about this. So yeah, I know. Oh, he knows. He knows. <laughs> he knows really like. <laughs> Auto conversion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not a 200 series gearbox. You got something coming. Something in the pipeline in the R and D works, and it can handle the power basically. It's a very strong box. It can be built to be an even stronger box. That if factory, they're they're good to over a thousand numeric torque. I built they good to two thousand numeric torque. It's actually not a huge gearbox, so it'll fit nice. It's gonna be cool. Fingers crossed, everything works out. Um, but that'll be coming in in a few weeks. So brackets and transfers and everything's all still getting made. Let's have a look in the uh, inside. Again. Oh, check it out. She's flash as. Oh, Got a shed life hat. So it's pretty, <laughs> pretty normal, although underneath all this carpet. Oh yeah, so there is one amazing part about this interior. And this is something that it extremely needed because it actually feels like a car now. You can hear yourself think. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you burn can, to death. <laughs> you don't burn to death. You can talk to your mate and actually hear him. And that's the car builders. So we Do got- one here. I put in the- Can't door. see. It kind of sucks for him, you know? Like the, it changes your car so much, but no one ever sees it. Like, yeah. But it's in the doors, it's in the roof, it's in the floor. Man, it's just about in the seats. <laughs> <laughs> it's in your heart, I can tell. <laughs> it's in my heart. Just... Well, it's got cup holders. I don't know what console that is. It was in there when I got it. Um, you don't have you don't you don't have like a stereo like jam in it. Just a normal one. No, I got six stereo. Oh, AM on that? Yeah, it's got it gets sick AM radio. And uh, it's got GME. This was already in it as well. GME fucking who we doing? Ooh, copy, copy. Yeah, I haven't even finished mounting that. Can you mount that for me? Yeah, all right. What is that? I ordered this bad boy from Outback Equipment actually. And how do you even plan on putting that in without a bull bar, sir? If I figured it out on the Jeep. Oh, you haven't seen that yet. Oh, what did I do the Jeep? <laughs> if I made it work on the Jeep, I can make it work on a cruiser. It looks pretty cool. This is like full. It's a carbon winch. I don't know if that's any good or not. I don't really know a whole lot about winches, but. I said I want all black, so I got all black. <laughs> Very nice. So I actually bought all this stuff from MTX for that. <laughs> but pretty sad over there. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put it in here. Some six by nine, some six and a halves, and then the amp, four channel amp. And I think you can put them in the you can buy like speaker pods from places. Either that or I'll do a full trim on it. I don't know. No, don't do that. <laughs> Ah, fuck that. I'll just destroy it anyway. Which brings me over to here. Da -da -da. Holy snap and duck shit. This. Dan. You, got, you just drive around for all this stuff in the back? I just leave it in there, you know, cruise around, you know. Tailgate, so this is Dan, Metal Morphic. He's the boss. He's helping me with all my laser stuff now, which means builds are gonna be sick. This. Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. We're going front and rear Harrow blockers so that we don't have them exploding again. Tyler's gonna love this one. Party lights. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> throttle grenade. Uh, throttle controller. Takes two seconds to put in. I still haven't had time. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm mega, mega excited about. Red Arc Red Vision. This is what's in most people's canopies in Tito. Yeah, I've got that one, yeah. So you can actually control everything from here. Now, I'm not a train canopy guy, so I'm gonna mount this inside the cab and- In the dash somewhere? In the dash somewhere, and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna be able to control everything from the driver's seat. I've also got a couple of red up gauges. I've got oil pressure and water temp, which I think is important. These are the ones I think are important. And EGT and boost pressure, so. EGT is a big one, that's that's um, keeping an eye on your exhaust gas temperatures. That's starting to get too high, means stuff's starting to cook up the front. Yeah. Uh, oil pressure, if you ever get low on oil pressure, you will just explode your engine. Like I mean, It's something I just learned, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the best gear you can get in the uh, cruise. It just so happens that he's the best gear, so I'm, I'm <laughs> stoked with that. I'm telling you, I'm really excited about it. So the manager... well, you are an electrical guy. Yeah, so. well, I am a Sparky. So the, the Manager 30. Manager 30 is a, it's basically like a big PLC relay kit. This controls the circuit board, which controls heaps of outputs. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to have 10 relays with power feeds looping between them because it's all done inside this 
Not this box. Trialed and tested in Australian conditions Trials. for corrugations, because you now know what they're like. <laughs> they are hectic. <laughs> Man, that trip was sick. Why did you see the content coming up for uh, budget bills? Oh, I have wow. never actually owned recovery gear. I've had one snap not, strap. Not, not at this level, anyway. It's definitely not at this level. I ran into Paul, just got chat with him. He's an absolute legend, and he, um, he hooked us up with some recovery gear. I said, mate, I cruiser, don't need it. He said, nah, it's for Paul and TJ. Nah. Oh, <laughs> I don't know where to mount these yet, but I'll find. I think... So inside here, that's a, that's the next thing I guess. What am I doing for camping? So exactly the same as the Ranger. I'm gonna do drawers. Yeah. Water tank, air tank, and a rooftop. Um, keep it nice and low. And I might work out a way to mount these sort of on the sides, possibly. Yeah, easy to get to, and look doesn't yeah. look too bad. Nah, it'll actually look pretty cool. And then it'll sort of hide the back of the cab a bit too. Ah, oh, we got the uh, hub. Legends at all 4x4 spares. Yes, the boys that got me out of the ship with the gearbox. They just happen to have one in stock, ready to go. I spoke to them and I said, my hubs, my auto locking hubs, which most cruiser guys will say as well, are crap. It's chattering, it was mucking up, it was making noise, it was about to explode. Changing two things. Diff gear is coming from Superior. I'm going 488 gears. I believe cruisers are currently 3.9s. Yeah, so, big difference. Yeah, it's basically going to put the 37s back to as if it was factory gearing again, which is important for crawling off-road. Uh, the revs will be a little bit higher on the highway, but it's a lot less stress on the driveline. And this kit that I bought a 4x4 is manual locking hubs. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm going back to the old school. Um, yes, <coughs> TJ will probably go and unlock my hubs without me knowing. <laughs> But at least they're not going to break. They're meant to be strong strong as. I'm sure a lot of guys will agree with me. So I think that's about it. I think that's all I'm going to do. And then I just want to wheel it. We've got to use this thing. It hasn't been used. You're that guy. Oh, I went to the bloody Woolies with it. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got there? Some decoration? Run a business or something? Woo! Oh, you got to sell them. Yeah, I'm going to sell them. Ah. But I, 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 I don't know if I'm happy with the colours yet. So once I get the colours right, you guys can buy some. Yeah, look, we're uh, gonna do a bit of 40 psi test run with no rear lockup, so <laughs> why not? At least you can watch the flex. <laughs> Ready to go fast. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. <laughs> not a great start. <laughs> Damaged it straight away. So. <laughs> <laughs> Have you fixed that yet? Well, no. She's um, a little bit broken. Alrighty, actually, I uh, put a post up on Instagram the other day to see if you guys had any extra questions, which I do. So I'm gonna give them to you now. Woo! I forgot all about that. Got them here. Ah! <laughs> Let's get you. Do it in the dirt. How long till we push it to its limits? <laughs> 
Um, Let's be honest, they do push vehicles to the limit. <laughs> they do. They, they don't muck around those boys. Gears should be in a couple of weeks. So once the diff gears are in. We got an interesting one from Addison Byrne. What does she weigh? So the answer to that is we don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm going to say it's fairly light because the tub doesn't weigh a whole lot and there's no ball bar on it at the moment. So probably pretty light. This one's from Joshua. Joshua. Any plans to update the candles up front? Oh, the candle. I'm getting a bit sick of getting out and lighting them all the time. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I might pull them apart, paint them black, throw some projectors in. Jim's.90. Do you even sway bar, bro? Of course. Of course. It's illegal not to sway bar, bro. <laughs> uh, Matthew Jones, 543. Leave it on the farm where it belongs. Exclamation oh. mark. Got. Oh, I forgot yeah. that it's a farm truck. Right. All these bloody yuppies like me going and buying cruises, the farmers can't get them anymore. <laughs> Sully the goat. Any Whoa, the goat. <laughs> any interior fit out plans? Just the red uh, vision. We went through that. The red vision that we've gone through. Um, I'll get a head unit because I need a reverse camera. Yeah. And uh, I quite like Jamin's one, the Kenwood one. And apologies if all that looked like a big friggin' advertisement, but I'd rather just tell you guys what the brands are and what I used rather than get a zillion questions later, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Newt's CL19. Why did you buy a pre-built, coil converted 79 rather than buying a stock one? Well, one, wait time, the wait time. You can't even get them. Um, but also, because I bought it off my mate, and he, he had it for sale, he gave it to me cheaper. Just the timing was right, and I went, right out. Because I, to be honest, I never saw myself in a cruiser. Um, I always, Thought they were way too expensive for me and to buy. And I wouldn't have thought you'd ever buy a second hand one that wasn't cool for me because you can't do it after the fact. That too. Germ underscore Ryan, I think. <laughs> Has it added both length and girth to the dong or just length? It's <laughs> <laughs> actually got shorter and skinnier. Oh. It's really strange. You buy a big truck, yeah. But if you're going to have small junk, I'd rather have it getting out of a big ass cruiser than a Ford for Steve. Yeah, so. that's <laughs> Oh, Kyle Titch. Why go the 79 after the Ranger? Well, I kind of just feel that, that one. It just sort of was timing and worked in well with my mate selling his. I needed the four doors, yeah, uh, with, with Bub here now, and um, I want to, although she hates the car at the moment. <laughs> Jackson, Ralph 30, are you going to put a bull bar on it? There is one I've got my eye on. I actually can't remember the name of it now. Um, it's the same one Millsy put on his oh, enhanced cool. auto cruiser one. It looks cool. It looks real cool. Yeah, enhanced auto works. Uh, Leighton 4201. How much did the rear tub get cut to fit the tyres? Well, uh, not, not at all. Clearly <laughs> not enough. <laughs> it's it's not a whole lot of the actual tub itself. It's more just the flare. But, the flare, yeah. Um, yeah. How ironic. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Uh, GUS4 Touring. Do they make these in men's? No. Nope, uh, women's only. Uh, Jack Bruce 91 what's the most difficult part of this build? Not too hard, the injector's gun was a pain in the ass. Um, oh, the gearbox, that was a pain. The auto... <laughs> <laughs> the gearbox was a pain. A big pain in my wallet. The auto-locking hubs, they're a bit... They've been a bit annoying, that's why we're going to manuals. But paint was pretty quick, paint was only like two or three months. Oh, they banged it out. Like, yeah. that's unusual for a paint shop. <laughs> yeah, so that was cool, the boys killed it. Um, James Gillum underscore powerlifting. Oof. Does it still feel safe on the road? Yeah, I think it's good with that jack change up, um, track Def width. Definitely feels safe on the road. To be honest, it's probably a bit fast for a truck that big. Because <laughs> all these guys are way faster than Forbes than me as well, and it's like... <laughs> it is extremely fast for, like, they shouldn't be able to do no. what he stuff. No. <laughs> <laughs> it feels fine. Like, it's not even rolly. The, the front end's nice and firm. It's, it's good. This is an interesting one, which we might do another whole episode on, because it's pretty in-depth. Costs. Oh. Uh, yeah. We don't even know. If it's Shitload. <laughs> like, a lot. Yeah, like proper cruiser brand. Like once you buy one, you just spend, spend, spend. Yeah, spend. comment, leave a comment. If you want us to run through the cost, we might be a cool one just to see what this level of build would set back a normal cut. It's very hard to because you do it yourself. Yeah. If you went to a shop and said do that, I it would hate like to know. More. I would hate to know. I do have the receipts and stuff of the truck of like the pre-rego and, and like the engine work and stuff like that. And I'm glad that stuff was done before I bought it. Because <laughs> it was expensive. Alex Green, you owe me new undies. 
Ah, uh, sorry, mate. Pierced <laughs> his pants on. Yeah, yeah I, think he, he I think he did. Or was he just needing you under? Oh, Andy underscore Cena. If you didn't go black, what colour would you go? So it's only black for me, <laughs> but yeah, I'm really bad with picking colours. That's why I end up going black every time. Thomas Grimshaw, anything you dislike about it? Um, at first, I didn't like how noisy it was inside. It sways a little bit on the highway, like it's sort of like well, just it's a that's, solid axle. that's a solid axle thing. They just kind of like to drift, but other than that, no, nah, I don't think there's anything else. I'm done. Oh, the stereo <laughs> needs a stereo. Oh, pro I, I hate how much they cost. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I get it, they're gonna last forever. They're, they're a pretty indestructible car, but they are very expensive. Jared underscore ghetto is the. Five inch snorkel worth it. Oh, mm. I think you look saw at it earlier. It. He's very passionate, guys. Like, <laughs> oh, it just looks sick. Like, I mean, you probably get no extra gain. Like, you might get a little bit more air intake, but it just suits it. Like, it just looks good. All right, rush up 22. Do you wish it had cruise control? Yes, it does. It actually does. It's state of the art, this vehicle. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that's about all it's got. <laughs> MTB underscore Will. When is the shed skip? <laughs> no. This floor cost too much. Though. Took us four, <laughs> four or five days to do it. Yeah, well, this shed anyway is brand new, so probably no skids out of this nah. one. Pete Yellio, how does it compare in comfort to the Ranger? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. It's terrible. <laughs> Look, I've already got cruiser back. So <laughs> it's. I actually think they're pretty comfy. I actually, don't mind it. Not too bad. Not used to it. Getting in and out, it's not very comfy. It's way too tall. Said no one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some wild news. Some wild news coming up. Breaking oh, news. Breaking news. I'll let, I'll let him get straight in. Alright. Alright. So, I've made the decision. I've sort of sort of come up with a way that I can go full time with TD. Ooh, it's exciting. I'm excited. It's exciting. Just the, the recent response from all you guys, like going to Sydney show and meeting all you guys. Um, oh, just all the messages I get. Um, a lot of really good heartfelt messages of a lot of guys that have taken heaps of good from Shed Life and uh, tried to promote the, the mental health aspect. Mental health aspect and the fact that our channel is helping guys that are doing it tough. All these messages I get from you guys uh, is just sort of the main reason I kept doing it. So also just touching on the, uh, the mental health side of things, um, obviously chat to your mates, catch up with them. Go for a feed with them. I, we try to get it. Me and the boys get a feed. You'll see on my Instagram every Thursday. Let off some steam. But if all else fails or you don't have much mates, give me on Blue a call. I've, I've donated. Well, I'm about to do another big one actually. Uh, that should put us around eleven or twelve thousand. So this comes directly from the sales of the Shed Life shirt. Yes, so it comes from sales of Shed Life shirt. You know, it was income that was extra to me, so I wanted to support and help back. Plenty more of that to come in the future. We gave a thousand, well, I gave a thousand dollars to um, the flood relief as well. And through the budget builds too, we also did Ronald McDonald Charity. Ronald McDonald House. Charity. Uh, they, yeah, it was a thousand. That was a thousand. Fortunately, we didn't take home the win, so they only got a thousand dollars. And now I've worked out a, a sort of an opportunity and a way to be able to go full time with TJ. I earn pretty good coin. So it is going to be a pay cut and it's going to be tough at the start, but there's a couple of, uh, couple of really cool businesses that want to get behind and support us, which is Wheel Pros and Superior so far and Outback Equipment. Uh, so that's going to be a huge help. Uh, it's not a lot of money, but it'll, it'll help and they're a bunch of legends anyway. I love working with them. One more idea up my sleeve, which is actually going to help me afford to keep breaking this. <laughs> <laughs> and building the K truck and so on and just giving you guys more content because that's what we need money for is just to give you guys more to watch. I'm not gonna tell you right now. It's a surprise. And it's gonna give you guys more content, yeah boy. Keep you in the loop. Hopefully it all comes to fruition, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. So. With, with any luck, I never have to build a lift again in my life, so. Yeah, mate. For those wondering what I did, I'm an electrician, I build elevators. He builds elevators. <laughs> Just work my ass off or working away and... Oh, you're gonna be working your ass off, don't you worry? Oh, I'm certainly working my ass off. Like. <laughs> oh, nice shirt, mate. What are you yeah, getting? Yeah, this is Tito's new one. Yeah, right. As this video goes live, I'm gonna make all my summer merch slash Christmas merch, because it's so close, uh, available. I've got a few new shirts on there. Check them out. I've got some new ones coming, but won't be tall.
later. Is there anything in specific you want to see on Shed Life videos? Write it down. Is that what you say? Yeah, Write it comment down, down below. Comment down below. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment. <laughs> Double pistols. <laughs> <laughs>